Adding and subtracting fractions takes a little special care. You can add quarts and gallons if you convert them both to quarts. It's the same with fractions. You can add thirds and sixths if you find the common denominator first. To add or subtract fractions, first convert the fractions so that they have the same number in the denominators, or the numbers on bottom. Second, add or subtract the numerators, or the numbers on top. Leave the denominators alone. And third, reduce the answer if needed. As a rule, math people are crazy about reduced fractions, and teachers sometimes take points off a right answer if you could have reduced it but didn't. A question about an athlete named Jim can demonstrate as we take you through the process step by step. Jim played for half an hour in yesterday's soccer game and for 20 minutes in today's game. So, how long did Jim play altogether? First, you have to turn this story problem into an equation. Set up a simple equation, such as one half plus one third equals the number of hours Jim played. One half and one third don't fit together. You can't just add the numerators and the denominators and get two fifths. Two fifths of an hour is 24 minutes, which doesn't make any sense. So to start, first convert the fractions so that they have the same number in the denominators. Because you have a basic understanding of fractions, you know that one half can also be two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, and so on. Similarly, one third can be two sixths, three ninths, four twelfths, and so on. You can fit the two fractions together by multiplying both the numerators and the denominators by the same number. Multiply one half by three thirds to make three sixths, and multiply one third by two halves to make two sixths. This works because when you multiply two halves or three thirds, you're really just multiplying each fraction by one. Second, add or subtract the numerators. Leave the denominators alone. Finally, reduce the answer if needed. Five sixths can't be reduced, so you have your answer. Jim played for five sixths of an hour, or 50 minutes. Subtraction follows the same course as addition. Here's another real life situation. In her will, Jane gave four sevenths of her money to the Humane Society and one third of her money to other charities. How much was left for her children's inheritance? The fractions four sevenths and one third aren't compatible. You can't combine or compare them. First, you'll have to convert the fractions so that they have the same number in the denominators. The fraction four sevenths can be eight fourteenths or twelve twenty firsts and more. The fraction one third can be two sixths, three ninths, four twelfths, and more. It may take a while to find a good fit, but four sevenths equals twelve twenty firsts and one third equals seven twenty firsts. The second step is to add or subtract the numerators. Leave the denominators alone. For this question, you actually have to do this step twice. First, add the numerators to get the total designation to charity in Jane's will. Then, subtract that total from the whole of Jane's proceeds to find what portion is allotted to her children. Jane's children will be awarded two twenty-firsts of Jane's estate. These are just a few examples. Remember to take special care when adding or subtracting fractions.